Hello? They've got a dog who's been impossible to place yeah. and is running out of time and needs Brandon's help. Okay. Well, I'm on my way to West LA Shelter. There's a chihuahua there who's a little bit older and constantly overlooked. I hear she's a great dog, so I'm gonna go see if I can help. Several days ago, Lolita was abandoned at the shelter. She is scared and lonely, missing the family that left her behind. As soon as Brandon opens her cage, it's clear she's starved for attention. I opened the cage and she just jumped literally on my chest <laughs> like a gecko. And she started kissing me and she wanted out bad. And she showed me. You want to get out of here, don't you? Yeah, so do I. Two things Lolita had going against her. She is an older dog. Older dogs are not as desirable as puppies. And number two, she's also a chihuahua. Who would give you up? Who would do that? There's so many chihuahuas in the shelter, it's easy for one chihuahua to get overlooked. So she had two strikes against her. Hey, come on. Let's get out of here. A friendly dog like Lolita needs lots of love. A busy home where she'll get plenty of attention. And Brandon has just the family in mind. Me and my boys, and they keep me young. We're always out doing fun stuff. We love to do a lot of bike riding. Having been through the stress of a divorce, single dad John Zuber and his three boys are looking to bring new life into their household. Yeah, there's a lot of challenges with having the three kids and a dog, but it keeps me out of trouble. The Zubers are seeking a fresh start. And there's another member of the Zuber family that would be happy to have a new friend. The Zuber's Terrier Chihuahua mix, Rascal. I know he gets anxious a lot when we're not around and at home, so I think having someone to hang out with will help him chill out a little bit. We are super excited to meet Lolita. She's gonna be surrounded by boys, so it'll be nice to mix it up a little bit. Get a girl dog in here. Excellent work. At first, training was going great. Lolita is a quick learner. Unfortunately, that's not the only thing she's fast at. She does what we call door dashing. Brandon is hopeful to place Lolita with a family who could benefit from a bright, friendly dog like Lolita. But Brandon knows any house with three young boys means a lot of running in and out of the front door. The way you set up and train the door dashing is very simple. Always connect them to a safety leash, just in case. You want to open the door slightly, maybe a couple inches. You can't cross that threshold until I say it's all right. It's the dog's first intuition to run out the door. Now, the second his nose gets close to that door, just quickly shut it. Brandon is very careful not to let the door hit Lolita's nose. He just wants her close enough to get the message. Now, do this three or four times, the dog will start backing up. The dog will quickly learn that every time it gets near that door, it's just gonna shut in its face. Who's a smart girl? You don't have to say the word stay. The dog has to understand that it will not be allowed to cross that threshold until the human says it's okay. Well, I pick up the leash and I say the word okay and I walk her through the door. Are we learning? Okay. Lolita did great for her first DoorDash training. Good girl. See? Brandon will continue testing her many times before she's placed in her new home. Come on. Very good boy, excellent work. Hup, hup. Very good boy.